Good day ladies and gents, and the topic of today are the talent changes which BSG didn't share, they didn't post anything about them yesterday. But first of all, let's talk about the patch from yesterday, the one gigabyte patch. So overall, I'm getting less frames on Sheets and on Lighthouse. Um, the sound is a bit too loud in, um, in, some, in some areas, like for example, sometimes when you loot stuff, the sound is too loud, and also when you unload and load the max, also drag them around your uh, stash in the raid, that's a bit too loud. Well, not a bit, it's very loud. And I hope BG is fixing that soon. Um, so yeah, let me know Let me know how the patch is working for you. Also, I started getting disconnects from the raid whenever I'm looking for, for the match. So I click on start the raid, customs, go. I find the raid, I load the files, and then it just says uh, game aborted and I can't reconnect. And it's been happening a couple of times in a row for me till I restarted the game. So apparently restarting the game fixes it and I've never had this before. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you're experiencing any issues. And let's get to the silent changes. So first of all, PG maxed the durability for some armors. Let me quickly move my cam so you can see better. So Thor armor is maxed at 75. This one is at 80 and uh, full body gen 4 is 110, which is good. I always thought that big armors should have more hit points, especially Thor. It was at 55, that was ridiculous. So bigger armor is better for us. Oh, a follower follower on Twitch while I'm uh, not streaming. Yeah, by the way, feel free to check me out on Twitch where I stream daily. And the other couple of changes we should love to mention are actually in the game. So let me give you a couple of examples. For example, on sheets, a couple of the boxes were moved around, a couple of... Bruh. Step bro help, I'm stuck. For example, there was a medical bag right here on the shelf and it's been moved from here to the area right there. Maybe it was to do with the people getting stuck there, maybe it was to do for a another reason, I don't know. But yeah, some of the bags were moved around, so if you don't see a medical bag, duffel bag in your favorite location, now you know why. And right now let me show you the biggest change of them all. And this is the biggest change of this patch. Right now you can't drop into the marked room on streets anymore. It's been blocked by a metal sheet. So if you try to do that, unlucky. You can still get a key for this room on the flea market. I think right now people sell it for like 800k or a million. I bought a couple of them in advance a week ago. I think about like four, maybe five keys for 200k each. And yeah, but you can you can still try to jump into this window and see what's inside the room. It's a bit it's a bit difficult to do, but more or less, oh, I see the dog case. Even though I'm in offline, I can see there is a dog case inside. So more or less, you can check the loot. Um, and yeah, to be honest. Lots of people were speculating if BG is gonna do it or they won't. Um, I think that's a good that's a good thing I would say, but I hope they're gonna buff the loot inside the mark back to where it originally was in the beginning of the wipe. Cause I think on the first or the second day after people discovered that you can drop in, BG nerfed the loot and it wasn't as uh, good as before. So yeah, back to the fixes yesterday, BG uploaded one, maybe two, I think only one hotfix. And it was to do with the interface volume sound. So right now, when you loot boxes, uh, interface, volume, sound does make a difference. However, when you actually... Ooh, you know I can do this. So when you loot the boxes, the sound is not that loud. It's manageable. However, when you move the things around your stash and you load and unload max, it becomes very loud. I don't know if I can show you that. All right, so we unload our gun. And this is pretty loud. So yeah, if you're enjoying my videos, if you're enjoying my news, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and sub to the channel to not miss any of the new videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.